here for V3 Faction War. This is SDL Province and Space Marines versus Eldar for the Blue Space Marine team. We have Triple Tech Marine. First up is Kane with some Blood Ravens. We also have Marky Mark as the Coca Cola Marines. And rather us off, Thark's Gamma is an Imperial Fist. These guys start off in range combat, put out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Wade into melee combat too. For the Red Eldar, two Farseers. First up is Krog with the. Um, Recolored elite scheme, Exodites, I think. Alongside Lolgar, these guys are support heroes that fight in melee combat with some powerful buffs, debuffs, and control abilities. And rounding us off, Kung Fu Panda as a warlock melee hero that can leap into combat with some powerful spells, giving them support, disruption, and offense. Looks like the warlock is over on the east side against, you guessed it, it's the Tech Marine. How many turrets are we going to see? How many beacons? On at least two turrets and one beacon on that west side. Oh, you guys have failed. Nobody wanted to contest this VP right now. Usually you'd see Eldar, or really any faction, go pretty aggressive on Space Marines early on. Eldar, though, historically, going way back to when I started with these faction wars, have struggled against Space Marines. I remember, I think it was like 2012 or 2013 or something. They went a very, very long time without beating Space Marines and that was when I was purposefully getting very very strong Eldar players and um, they always got beaten. A lot of those games were very very close but Space Marines always pulled through. There's such a powerhouse in these faction wars come tier 3. Marines getting caught there, that's a nice shotgun blast. Double Banshees moving in on you early on as Space Marines got to be pretty damn scary. especially. If Farseer buffs and potentially Warlock buffs as well. In fact, Channeling Runes is already up. An incredibly powerful single target heal which um, renders the Warlock motionless. And it does need to channel it, but it is so, so strong. It can help them tank an entire army attacking them pretty much. And they do have their aspect too. Krog does not have the aspect top. He's gone for some relatively quick rangers out here on the west side. Kung Fu Panda also does not have the aspect. What's this? Double Scouts for Marky Mark. Double Scouts also for Tharks Gamma. And expect several shotguns around. Look at this. Sneaky Scouts stealing the Red Team's natural VP. What's this? What? Fighting over this contested VP maybe. Looks like Red Team will take it right now. Here come some Tactical Marines, Double Scouts and that. Tech Marine, any sign of the Mastercrafted Bolters? Yes, here's one from Thark Scammer. Gives them the awesome high powered shot. Good tool to use when you're trying to defend against multiple Banshees and a Warlock jumping on you, of course. Not to mention the Farseer's ability to tie things up. There's the Ranger. Snipe Infantry, good burst damage from range with some disruption as well. Farseer moving in quite aggressively. Banshee's not very close to her, but she's tying things up pretty well, shutting down. The range damage of that tech marine but she runs into a heavy bolter and might go down here they're going to shoot her on retreat and they do finish her off misplay there from krog should have retreated as soon as he saw that heavy bolter open fire shotguns getting nice and close to the rangers trying to get a shotgun blast perhaps but they are persuaded to leave we do have a guardian weapon team buffed by lolgar's guide that's the starting ability of the fast here she starts with guide and a fleet of foot Tying up the Tactical Marines here, taking a lot of damage from the Dire Avengers, but they're trying to get in on the Shuriken, and they get there, and force off the Dire Avengers too. Some sneaky Rangers. 499 to 379 on the VPs, 2 to 1 cap. Double Rangers for Krog, We've also got some Rangers for Kung Fu Panda. And no sign of Aspects on these Banshees yet. Not expecting that. Coca Cola Devastators are devastating some poor little banshees, but they do get away. Decent grenade there. Caught a big clump of Imperial Fists behind that wall. Nicely done. That was um, Kung Fu Panda with the Dara Avenger Plasma Grenade. 1 to 1 cap now. Eldar have been in and out relatively well, aside from that Farseer loss. I guess she was. I actually didn't see if she was repurchased or revived. I'm sure you guys did. Farseer mixing it up here with Lolgar. She is persuaded to leave though. Disruption on the Devastators. That's going to be important. 
An important job for those rangers is to disrupt those guys. Let the banshees get in. And of course, since Krog has two of them, they can chain that disruption for double the knockback, which is going to be incredibly powerful. Those guys persuaded to leave, though. Down to one model. Bolt of Fire is pretty persuasive, it turns out. There's the higher-powered shot. Big damage to a single target and suppression on demand. And stop those Banshees even thinking about moving in there. Force of a 9, 370. About 100 VPs to make up, but it's very early going for the Eldar. Looks like they want to kind of control this west-central area around this contested power here, the Eldar. Doing so with a Shuriken right now. Tier 2 for Lolgar and Tier 2 for Krog. Got there in good time. Not seen a huge amount in terms of power bashes. Not sure about this east side. Some drop pod tactical marines called in here by a Thark Gamma. Banshee's having a bad day. But they do get off. And Warlock with a Merciless Witchblade. Awesome tier 1 weapon. Big chunks of damage. Drains energy and has that knockback on the ranged attack. Two grenades go in. Dodged, but they did force him to get out of that cover there. And he uses that to facilitate forcing retreat. Warlock messing up these tactical marines big time. Can he get a model? Smack. All of the attacks seem to be going on that single fella over there. Which is bad news for those, but they do get into the garrison. Not much he can do about that. Not sure how effective the destructor is at garrison's units, but he didn't have the energy to use it anyway. Rangers taking the west side for the old They have the 2 to 1. About 100 VPs to make up still. What's this? We've got some Wraith Guard up for Lolgar. Very slow moving ranged infantry that can demolish every target from relatively close range. You can boost their speed by um, basically seeing for them with a Spirit Seer Warlock leader. I think the, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure both the Warlock and the Farseer will also act as Spirit Seers if they're close enough to the Wraith God. Where the hell are they? Where have we gone to? They're very slowly making their way down. Wow. They are getting their Spirit Seer. And it's going to help. Against these devs, certainly. They can walk up to the Devastators. The Wraith God can't be suppressed. And they're pretty damn tough. And they will obliterate them. Their big weakness is melee combat. And we don't see any assault squads up. And none of these guys have melee weapons. These tech marines do see two mastercrafted bolters. So the wraith guard, as it stands, are going to be pretty fantastic, I think. Lodgar can also buff them with the guide, of course. Psychic storm is up. You just saw it dislodge those devastators there. These guys also suppress with their wraith cannons if they weren't destructive enough already. Center kicking off. Decent grenade on retreat by Thugs Gamma. Gets one model. Good enough. Rangers now taking shots. It's a Wraith Lord for Krog. I want to see what Kung Fu Panda does on this east side against this Imperial Fists Tech Marine. We have upgraded Tactical Marines with Flamer and Sergeant. Banshee's coming in though. Got himself in a bit of a tricky position. Here comes some support from Lolgar, but he does get away. Retreated at the right time. Didn't want to risk retreating this way and eat a bunch of grenades or something. Eldar holding this west side so far. Whirlwind is on the field for Marky Mark. I don't think it will disrupt the Wraith God. They are immune to weapon knockback. As you can see, they're just toughing it out. Here's a Wraith Lord now. This guy's got a big sword. And it's very, very bad news for pretty much everything on the field. Oh, Plasma Cannon again, a big shot there. We also saw the Hunter Killer Missile from the Whirlwind. Nice little piece of utility it has to do a bit of damage to a vehicle from pretty long range as well, I believe. Could his Space Marine shut out of the contested VP? No sign of any beacons or turrets yet. Might be a relatively late game thing. Banshee is getting shredded by shotguns there. Pushing in on the power, I think. Yeah, they got something. The node is down. One of the generators are missing. Grenade's going in. That guy took a very bad path and goes down. Not the smartest marine there. They have decapped this west side now, the marines. 414-370. 
Wraith Guard having a decent impact. I feel like if he got double Wraith Guard up, he'd be doing a hell of a lot more. Laz Cannon in the garrison here, which will be taking aim of the, at that Wraith Lord whenever he gets closer. Here comes a Dreadnought. Really, really bad news for Wraith Guard. They typically can't hit it as it runs in unless you ground target pretty well. And obviously, once it's in melee combat with the Wraith Guard, they're going to have a really bad time. Wraith Lord with the shoulder mounted Bright Lance now. Will help it put pressure on a Dreadnought from range. Also, maybe pick off the uh, Whirlwind. Doing a good chunk of damage to this guy. Doesn't seem too bothered about it, does he? What was that? Is he trying to damage the Webway with a Emperor's Fist? Fair enough. 414 to 356 kicking off on the east side. Dark Scammer versus Kung Fu Panda. Nice grenade there. Good usage of the scouts getting him in from a different angle, a different approach that Kung Fu Panda had to deal with, and he couldn't react quite in time. Ate a grenade. Although I don't think I don't sure if it actually killed anything. Maybe it got one model. But made him retreat, and now he can get on the power. Not always about inflicting losses. If you can do something just to get your opponent off the field, it allows you to apply economic pressure like this. And he might get a full bash here. He does have a flamer in there. Flamer's really, really good at taking down. Light buildings, which is what generators are classed as. Most turrets are too. Only the um, Lord General's heavy turret isn't, I think. Autoc dropped in, tying up these devastators, doing a good job. Nice special there, needs to be careful. Often you'll see the Autoc dropped in and instantly die because they don't retreat her in time. Looks like she'll get away this time though. Wraith Lord took a lot of damage but is getting repairs. Bright Lance is up. Where's that old Dreadnought taken down? Dreadnought was taken down. And I completely missed it looking at the east side. Is that it? I think that's the remains of the Dreadnought there. And maybe this Bright Lance came online and they weren't expecting it. Couldn't get the uh, Dreadnought out. And of course you had the Wraith Lord shooting at it. Didn't last long. Did a little bit of a push against the Wraith Guard, but that was it. Wraith Guard are still in play as well. Here they are. Autark was dropped by Lolgar. Tier 3. For Marky Mark, Lolgar, and Kung Fu Panda now. Stone Guard veterans up for Thark's Gamma. 414 297. It's a 2 to 1 cap for the Space Marines. They do have this contested VP. Can the Eldar break through? Might want to kind of come around here, attack from a different angle, get on that whirlwind. Much easier to say that when you're looking at the game. Oh, Mark target on the on the Wraith Guard there from Kane. Trying to be aggressive with them. They need a little bit more support than that. I think a little bit closer to them. Dropping models. They did get the plasma cannon out of there. And here come the Banshees now. There is a heavy bolter. But it's positioned over here. So the Banshees have kind of dodged it. But it took a big chunk of damage. Rangers continue to get shots. And took out a Devastator there. Was that the plasma cannon? I believe it was. You see a beacon from Kane. Which can be a death trap because as you all retreat back to it, you bunch up around the beacon and you can get hit by nukes or just like grenades and stuff can be really bad. Or Tuck goes down. Usually you'd see the beacon put behind the, um, the shot blocker over here. Because obviously it's protected from shots. I guess it's behind the bunker which does the same thing here. And it is a bit more protected from attacks from this side too, so... I guess Kane knows what he's doing. 414 to 279 on the VP's Krog with a relatively late Wraith Guard. Lolgar lost a lot in that engagement there. Trying to push against the beacon. Which can happen. You can get a massive victory pushing against the beacon, but you can also get caught with your relatively fragile Eldar and lose some stuff. He's still got Wraith Guard, he's still got Banshees, and he's in tier 3. Can definitely recover. Kung Fu Panda's Warlock is down right at the. Uh, power which was completely broken down should get revived here comes Krog in fact oh sorry Logla Space Marines continue to hold the west side with the beacon there wanted double Wraith God I think Logla went tier 3 didn't really pay off dropped the Autark I think another Wraith God instead of the Autark would have been good Did the yep? Yeah, Warlock is back to his feet. 
It looks like he's going to leave him alone here. Olgar's going back to the west side to engage. Here we have double Wraith Guard, one from each player. And Wraith Lord, the first time we've really seen a Wraith Lord run in and do some work. Last Cannon gets tied up immediately and it's going to go down, I think. It is reinforcing off the beacon, which kind of dragged one of the models back as it reinforced. But this is a strong attempt at a push from the Eldar. Fantastically done. Set up the, the Psychic Storm nicely there, forcing stuff to retreat back to the beacon. And as you see, Marky Mark is forced to deselect the beacon as the retreat point and go all the way back to HQ. Good push from Krog. Got those Wraith God up and did what he set out to do. Now it's going to get on the power here. Good usage of the Wraith Lord, honestly. Wasn't wasn't stupid, overextended it early, wait, waited for the right time and got in there. These Banshees might be in trouble because that is Hellfire rounds on retreat from those Stone Guard veterans and they do go down. Those were, who's? Those were Kung Fu Pandas Banshees? What were they doing there? They bashed the power completely. Last Cannon is getting shots in, but you'd think this Wraith Lord would be okay. Oh, maybe not. Are those guys moving? No, they're not moving. And they don't have any Librarian support or anything. Those scouts moving up there to provide some vision. Here is a Land Raider Redeemer from Marky Mark. Just got some more scouts out to help repair that thing. 397-223. So a good push from the Eldar. Might have come a little bit too late because now they have a Land Raider Redeemer on the field. Eldar, of course, are pretty good at destroying Land Raiders because of their Eldritch Storm Global Nuke. And the general ability to get effective and relatively quick anti-vehicle on the field. Fire Dragons, Warp Spiders with their Haywire Grenade, that kind of thing. Wraith Lord did survive. Venerable Dreadnought dropped in by Kane. Was hoping to see at least one of these guys. Unique Walker for the Tech Marine. Can charge into combat, which is a pretty big deal when you're a Walker. Can also charge out of combat, of course, to escape. That's the Land Raider doing its thing. They've now definitely seen it. We do have a melee tech marine, it's Marky Mark. Bionics, Axe and the Refractor Field just whacked out some rangers there. Speaking of Warp Spiders, here they are from Krog. Krog's got a massive army to uh, to deal with here. Not to mention a Farsi that requires a relatively large amount of micromanagement. A whole bunch of abilities to use. You've got Guide, you've got Fleet, you've got Doom, you've got Psychic Storm, you've got Spiritual Rites. Another beacon. Oh, it's a turret going up. I wonder if he'll upgrade it to a missile turret to put the pain on that Wraith Lord. You see the Space Marines pushing the east side again. Kung Fu Panda does have a fire prism though. Thox Gamma has some Terminators getting their Cyclone Missile Launcher, which is really bad news for the fire prism. Fire prisms are relatively slow moving and don't have a huge amount of hit points, so those Cyclone Missiles can really mess them up. Down goes that turret. Didn't last very long. These Marines being, being very, very brave. Fighting a Warlock. Who gets a fancy special attack and then runs away. Are those Marines going to go down? Almost. 47 hit points. They stayed in that fight way, way too long. Wraith Lord gets a sink kill on the Tech Marine. This Wraith Lord has been awesome. Really good usage by Krog. Is that a Singularity? I think it is. And it reached those guys. Wow. Didn't expect it to do that. This is from Lolgar. See a council here from Kung Fu Panda. They'll be really good at running in on those Terminators of Thark's Gamma. Tying them up and doing tons of damage. I'm pretty sure they can still use their Cyclone Missile Launcher though when they're tied up. Since it is an ability and not strictly like a ranged weapon. Same thing with the... Uh, Cleansing Flame of the Heavy Flamer, when you get that. Stone Guard dropping some models. Eldar trying to get in on this VP. Looks like they might be able to cap it. There is a Plasma Cannon there though. Oh, and a Whirlwind. So yeah. Might need to try it and flank around on those things. Maybe there's some Fire Dragons moving nice and fast. There's the time field. 
armor of the Assyrian. I believe that is set to get a slight nerf in the next update with a reduced radius. Doesn't tell me what the radius is here. I believe it's 15. Uh oh, here comes a land ready to help out. You might want to back away, fellas. Warlock, he's only level 2, but he does have Merciless and the Warp Throw. 367202 Space Marines still with this VP lead. Wraith Guard got marked targeted, but are putting some good damage on the land ready. They are level 2 and they do have their Wraith Bone self heal. And here are Progs, right? Oh, there's only two of them left. I thought they were split up strangely but there's only actually two a venerable dreadnought moving in now bright lance was getting some shots but now it's out of the firing arc and it's going to destroy it in a few seconds down it goes concentrating on stopping the cat forgot about the venerable dreadnought is another whirlwind from Thox gamma looks like uh, oh marky mark still has his it's level two I thought it had gone down. 367 to 202. The Wraith Lord may be done for being chased by a venerable dreadnought. Who now turns to smack these banshees around. And they kind of cleaned up there, the Space Marines. I think they need that nuke. Two of the Elder players have enough red to drop an Eldritch Storm. So look out for that in the coming engagements. They want to be able to follow it up though. Terminators being caught by a Warlock. There's the time field. Banshee's trying to get in on some action here. Can't jump into combat these days. Still that two to one. Oh, what a beautifully aimed grenade by those scouts hitting that Warlock. Eldar have decent numbers here. Fire Prism, we got Wraith Guard. The Wraith Lord is still around. Seer Council. Can they put something together though? Is there a beacon anywhere? No, it's just the Land Raider as a retreat point. Predator tanks now for Marky Mark and Kane. Warp Spiders do have their Haywire. Which means they can chain that stun together with this storm wait for that to wear off and then do the haywire because both of those things not only lock the land raider in place but they prevent it from firing its weapons which is a pretty big deal when you're a vehicle warlock should get away here I oh that's seer council not the warlock they do get away soaked up a hell of a lot of fire as well I hear a storm there it is Wraith Guard and Wraith Lord trying to get in on the uh, Land Raider. There's another storm just making sure. Can they get the, the whirlwind now? I think they stunned their own Wraith Lord. Yes, they did. They might get one of these whirlwinds. There's one hit point and it's still around. Nobody got in on it and there is the global repair from one of the Tech Marines. I think the Wraith Lord is done for. Predator tank chasing it. Down it goes. But they got the Land Raider. The Whirlwind lived. That was crazy. One hit point. These guys trying to out heal. A whole bunch of shooting. An exciting push. Didn't quite work out how they wanted. They got the Land Raider. But they also stunned their own Wraith Lord. Was hoping I think to get at least one other vehicle. Kane did lose a lot though. But so did most of the Eldar players. So I'm not sure if that was worth it. But they had to try. They had to try that. You can't say it was a strategic error. I just couldn't quite execute it. Which is tough. When there's so many variables going on. These guys are all retreating back to base now. Or is there a, something in the middle that I'm not seeing? I think they're just going back to base. We have a shielded Falcon for Lulgar. A lot of players won't even bother getting a Falcon until tier 3 in team game, so they can instantly put that shield on. There's a webway. And another webway. 
Now we're boys on the east side that I can see. We have a warlock on capping duty, a little bit of a lull in the action. More tanks for Marky Mark. And Rangers decapping under infiltration. Nothing can see them while they're oh, but they've been spotted by scouts. They got the decap. Very, very brave Rangers over there. There's a spirit stones heal for you. A lot of VPs to make up the Eldar, but they do have a single cap. And they're putting pressure on the blue team's natural, which they need to try and do. That's got to be Kung Fu Panda's job moving forward. Constant pressure on that VP. Venerable Dreadnought charging in. This guy's level 2. Up to very, very close to 2,000 hit points on this guy. Kane has lost a lot, though. Just the Venerable and the Predator tank now. That was a high-powered shot you just saw. Level 6 Tech Marine. Those Banshees are done for. Stayed in play a little bit too long there. Avatar of Kane on the way for Kung Fu Panda. Lodgar with some more Wraith Guard. Still has that first squad as well, which is now level 3. So they're packing a punch. This VP is still blue. But look at this. Sneaky Warlock. Might get shotgun blasted off the cap. No. Stays on the cap. And gets the decap. But so did some scouts. And look at this. Dox Gamma coming in with the full force of his army. Tons of bolters firing. And a flamer. And recognizes the threat early enough to not get suppressed by those Wraith Guard either. Nicely done. Terminators can't retreat. Might be chased down and tickled a little bit. But it should be okay. There's a Warlock running the hell away. Kicking off on the west side. Fire Prism's got itself in a very bad position and goes down. So many vehicles over here. Where are the fire dragons? There's an avatar. Librarian on the field now for Thox Gamma. And, uh, oh, they have uh, conceded, I see. Was not expecting to concede, but you can see why. Tons of vehicles that he couldn't deal with. They were disheartened by the inability to hold this west side, I think, for any length of time, which is tough. It's tough. Or maybe it's, like, better for Eldar to dedicate two players just on the mid. On this map against Space Marines. But hey, have it. Eldar's poor record against Space Marines in Faction Wars continue. It's a tough matchup for him. Expended so much effort and units taking on that land raider. Faster level 6, faster level 5, and a level 2 warlock. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, see you next time.